this show on the road. Where you want to ride to? Uh, up to you. Not to me, dude. It's up to you. I'm following you. I have no idea. Yeah. All right, so this is Drop a Gear and Waffle Moto coming at you with a daily ride uh, in uh, Palm Bay, Melbourne, Space Coast area. Uh, we don't know where we're going, but come along for the ride. I'm following you. <laughs> Let's go down to downtown Melbourne or down 192 and then uh, go by the house. And then we'll see from there. We got There's some twisty roads somewhere in there. All right. Alright, since our last podcast or uh, vlog didn't go as planned, uh, Chris's uh, Wakamoto's uh, uh, mic for some reason disconnected, so we didn't get any good audio. Um, but this time around, uh, it looks like we, we we double and triple checked ourselves. It's probably probably jinxing ourselves, but <laughs> yeah, my, my my big ear is disconnected all the cabling, so. <laughs> so I couldn't bring it to you last time um, but we explained what our bikes were uh, I ride a 2020 uh, Triumph Bobber Black and Waffle Moto is on a is it a 2017? 2017 it's on a 2017 uh, Classic 500 by Royal Enfield uh, single cylinder uh 500 cc? I think it's 535. Nah, this is 500. Oh, it's straight 500 cc? <laughs> yeah, it's like 499. It develops a whopping 29 horsepower. Yep. Uh, yeah, both, both these bikes are uh, super fun. Uh, yeah. Just get out there and ride. It doesn't matter what size bike you have, really. Two wheels, goes down the road. Exactly. Exactly that. And if you see us making any erratic movements, it's probably to dodge love bugs. Love bug season is upon us, so uh, mm, yes. we may get pelted. <laughs> and if you don't know what that is, get on Google. Look it up. And there's probably a Wikipedia. Yeah, here in the state of Florida, especially Central Florida, you know, hurricane season, you have like a generator for your house. Love bug season, you have a pressure washer for your house. <laughs> or you be, it's to wash up your car, your vehicle, your truck, or whatever, because you will be needing it. And once again, this is Can't Find Neutral. <laughs> That's gonna be, Hashtag. <laughs> that is going to be the new YouTube channel, I swear it is. <laughs> So, Royal Enfield, it, although it has a, a reliable gearbox, it seems like, with his uh, bike, finding neutral is a little bit sloppy. <laughs> and I don't know so, if it's just this bike, or all of them. Cause I bought, I purchased this, this when used. It had 2,300 miles on it, so it's like, and I put what? Yeah. Exactly 5,000 miles on it as of today. Nice. So those love bugs, Chris. Uh, I found this stuff online. Um, it's made for uh, uh, cars on the track when you take it to track day and everything like that. And uh, I forget what it's called. Track something. Track film, maybe. Probably has like some mineral oil in it or something. Something like that. But uh, uh, it's like a temporary clear bra. I think it's made by oh, yeah. 3M. Oh yeah. So I'm actually going to order some of that. It's like peel and, and stick. Put it, put it. Yeah, exactly. You put it on the front of your your vehicle, and then after a couple weeks, I can just rip it off, and it's like love bug season didn't happen. <laughs> Which would be great because we have a white car and I remember the last time we were here and we had to clean uh, uh, the exterior that we had. Oh yeah. Uh, it, it took us hours 
it to get those lug bugs off just the front. You also have a red shoulder fork there. What's that? I put a uh, there's a red shoulder fork on the side of the road. Uh, walking around. We have a lot of those here in Brevard County. So yeah, this all used to be just a flat area, no houses, and people buy up the land and throw some houses on it. And I remember that was only that when we were here. Uh, what was it about ten years ago? That, that, that was the case. That's what it was. There was nothing out here. It was just a road. Yeah. Apart from a couple of these businesses, I remember this, this area right here being here, but uh, all this was new. Too many people, not enough houses, Chris. Oh, God, yeah. So to give you guys a little bit of background, uh, my YouTube handle is Tropic Gear. I've been riding since, I want to say 2003-ish, on and off, um, but really just got back into it uh, last year. Um, I threatened my wife that I was going to buy a Challenger, um, and she immediately on the way to the dealership said, I'll let you get a motorcycle, and uh, who's going to say no to that? <laughs> Anyways, picked this this uh, bike up and been very pleased with it ever since. And then I think uh, I'm gonna make a right here. Sure. And I think Waffle Moto used to ride. Uh, I rode back in uh, the 80s. Bikes way back when. Yeah, everything had carburetors. He <laughs> spoiled with fuel injection. Are we oh, taking it right? Yeah, they ain't taking it right. Standard drum brakes, carburetors. Spoiled now, huh? Mm. I still don't have... Well, I got drum brakes on the back. Yeah, yeah. So a little bit more history. So Chris, uh, Chris used to be in the uh, United States Air Force. He was in for how many years? Twenty plus? Twenty years, two months, two days. <laughs> I just got down to the day. Yeah. I don't have those type of numbers. But I was in for in the Air Force as well, um, with about three or four different types of jobs. Couldn't find where I wanted to, what I like to do in the military. Um, but I was in for thirteen. Hindsight's 2020. You should have finished off that last seven years since I over halfway done, you know. But ah, it is what it is. It is what it is. You know what? Look where you work now, though. Yeah. Uh, what brought us back to the uh, Space Coast was actually uh, uh, employment. And uh, I work over at uh, Kennedy Space Center. Um, and I'm a common tracking engineer, uh, and we uh, provide the communications for rockets that are going up. Most notable is the uh, one that's supposed to go up this the, the end of this year. Um, it's the Orion and Artemis One project, and that's going to see uh, see us loop around the moon a couple times and then come back. Um, I, I look at it as like almost a proof of concept. Because the next one, Artemis 2, is actually going to be manned. So we'll be we'll be sending people up, uh, actual people up, to do that same thing. Are you clear on that side? Hey, you go. Uh, come down to one lane here. But yeah, right now we're we're traveling uh, uh, eastbound on uh, 192 which is one of the main thoroughfares that goes through Melbourne. Uh, from I-95 all the way, this will, this will take you all the way to Beachside if you want. Drops you right off in the Atlantic. 
So yeah, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, I got there in 92. Broad County was like really like quiet. Palm Bay had two lights. Beachside closed at like 7 o'clock every night. Now it's just a big booming area once again. And stuff's starting to come back from uh, COVID as well, yeah. which is very nice. So like Jason was saying, we like to get out there and you know, ride the bike definitely every Sunday morning ride every Sunday morning but also during the week we got to get up early enough it's not raining yet we do a quick ride after work it's more of like yep. therapy yeah I usually wind down my week on the Friday take it out for a spin you know one of, one of the one of the big things is that the fact that it's Florida the roads are, where we live at the roads are straight unlike uh, down south now nah, up in like Gainesville or Cala and oh, further yeah. north, it's all nice and hills and twisty country roads. And I was about to say you have hills there. Yeah. The biggest hills you'll find here is the golf course. <laughs> if you want to ride, I'll do it. <laughs> uh, we get a couple. Uh, we should get a couple enduros, some dual right. sports. Yeah, so Jason was talking about getting back into riding. So like three or four, you know, I didn't ridden in a year, I mean a long time. I thought I'd take some basic train across over again and basically learn to ride. But I was sitting on YouTube and there was a guy in India called Raj. Ride with Raj. And as I thought following his, you know, he was riding the, um, the Continental GT, the little three, uh, 535 by Royal Enfield. And I was like, man, that bike looks like so, just too much fun. It's not super fast or anything like that, but riding it, it looked fun. And he was showing all the basic how to make improvements on it, how to do this, how to do that. You know, and it was like, he doesn't have tons of followers and stuff like that, but he was posting every couple of days or whatever. We turn here. Follow us, YouTube. Yeah, this is our one one turn there in you go. Uh, Brevard County. There's that and turn we're done. Going. And we're down 20 miles an hour. <laughs> so yes, I started following Raj, and then I started looking online at little Royal Enfields, like this one here. And there's a place over in Sanford, you know, Sky, Sky Power Sports, I don't know if I can mention them or not. So I went over there, my youngest daughter and stuff like that, because she lives in that area. And they were brand new, $2,900. I should have bought a shit ton of them. <laughs> Because now they don't, because back in what, 2019, they stopped importing them to the United States because they started building the the twin, the parallel twins, the 650s. Yeah, what Americans want, more power. That's right. We want more power. Because my thinking was, because you know, I had found Raj and all his little followers and, and stuff like that over there in India, and I was like, man, they're riding this bike all over India, all over the Himalayas. I'm going, it goes everywhere. It takes a beating, and then it's like fairly simple to like fix it. I mean, it, it does its thing, right? It's not a fast bike, it's just a durable bike. And if, yeah. and if it can handle the Himalayans in India going, you know, the rain and all the crap that goes on over there, come on, people. Should give them a little rev bomb, but next time. <laughs> the, uh, Let those people enjoy their breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The, um, I was like, you know what? They can handle freaking Florida. Yeah. So this is downtown Melbourne. As you can see, Mego Mally's still closed. Hiring. Lots of eateries. A lot of eateries, little bakeries, stuff like that there. It's a really nice little area. Korean place. We still have to check that place out. Yeah, it's not going to be as good as my Korean. No. There's that. Those people are still in line to go to that that place over there. Well, that and the uh, tattoo parlor. You see the high noon? Yeah. This is packed <laughs> already. No, they were getting. Is, is that a restaurant? No, high noon uh, tattoo. 
Oh, no, I'm guessing they have a uh, probably a Mother's Day special. Uh, oh, we're, yeah. we're riding on Mother's Day, and you're probably like, these people are horrible not spending time with uh, with your family and all that sort of stuff. You guys, my, my wife went to work. She <laughs> rode a motorcycle to work. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm out enjoying my Sunday. Yeah. I'm gonna make a right here. Oh, look, green light, how oh, nice. We can get some speedy speed up here. Yeah, so it's following Raj, and then the, um... Then I start following, uh, was it, uh... Ducati, New York. And he doesn't have a lot of followers, but they post every day. Every day. And, I was like, and I was like, you know what? That does look like a lot of fun. I'm gonna get a bike. So by the time I bought this bike here, they had stopped selling them in the, here in the United States. The prices had doubled. I found this one on Cycle Trader up in New York, New Jersey area at a dealership. The guy had rode it in there the night before. And the sales manager had just posted it online before he left for the day. I called him up the next day and he told me about the bike and I bought it, paid 2300 dollars for it. Had it shipped, it cost me like four four or five hundred dollars. I, I used one of the apps, you know, he walked me through it. It's been solid ever since. The only thing I've changed on it is the headlight and a fuse. We did have to seal the gas tank. That will be an entire episode by itself. Because <laughs> that was literally hilarious. Because uh, I sealed the gas tank using 415. I've used the product before. It's a simple product to use. It just takes a couple of days and you're done. Yeah. About that, uh, uh, Chris is right. We've done some work to his bike. We've done some work to my bike. Um, and we want to bring you that content later on. So we'll probably uh, reverse what we've done and then reinstall the stuff. Yeah. There's not a lot of uh, how-to. There's a lot of how-to videos out there, but I think we can do better. And we can actually show you how to put these things on. Um, so those will be future episodes, probably mini episodes, um, depending on the job. Uh, yeah, because yeah, cause my bike still uses the old-fashioned Sylvania freaking light and stuff like that there and just at night it's almost zero light so you have to upgrade it to some type of elegate <laughs> and now you don't want to uh ride in front of them at night because it's so darn bright <laughs> it's blinding <laughs> but there is but, was... but there is another rider out there that we did upgrade her light to and it's even brighter and that's uh nico moto yeah um, she hasn't started her YouTube channel just yet. Um, she's still getting comfortable with her bike, and we thought that was the, the perfect opportunity for her to teach uh, people as a new rider and as a female um, her perspective. Uh, she showed interest in, in riding and everything. We got her uh, uh, her father, uh, Waffle Moto, uh, actually uh, paid for her uh, motorcycle safety course. So she took that, um, she liked it so much within, I would say, two weeks, Yep. I had a bike for it. Yep, so yeah, about two weeks we had a bike for it, and uh, I picked her up a uh, Suzuki TU250X, and uh, I tell you what, those smaller displacement bikes, people try and knock them, man, they are so much fun. They're light, uh, nimble, you can throw them around, her bike's a lot of fun. It so, is the perfect commuter bike. Yeah, yeah. If you're so, just going to work and you're riding 10 miles, you don't have to hit the highway and stuff like that, it is the perfect commuter bike. Yeah, it gives like 80 something miles of the, the gallon. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so uh, she's been having fun with that. She's been getting better, uh, riding more frequently and stuff. So glad that she's enjoying it. But uh, yeah, she wants to do some modifications to hers, and we'll probably bring this to you uh, across all of our channels. Uh, we'll probably turn hers into sort of a cafe racer. Um, so 
so that, that'll be a fun conversion. Hey, you want to take Grant Road? Uh, is that about, sure. Is that about Carrier? Yeah, it'll work. Carrier, either one. You know what? Grant Road's like dead straight, though. Yeah, let's take Valkyria. Yeah. We'll go a little bit further. Yes, Jason has cruise control. <laughs> you uh, cruise up ahead. No, you go. You go. No, I don't want to go. You go. Yeah, so my bike has all 29 horsepower. Jason's has what? I think it's near 80. Yeah. No, that, that was before the mods and stuff. I don't I don't know. It's plenty for me, that's, that's for sure. But I do want to make it faster. So the mods that have been done to this bike so far is I have a uh, British Custom Turnouts. Uh, I deleted the air box because I like the look of the a more uh, more of a bobber look. Right. And when you have a bobber, it, it it should be more stripped down than actual stuff on it. So I pulled the air box off uh, and the exhaust. The exhaust that was probably good. I don't know. What do you do? Forty pounds. Yeah, the, Altogether? Um, the amount of weight that came off when you pulled off the, uh, the pipe was amazing. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, not sure why manufacturers do it that way. It's probably just to make some extra money off their uh, their aftermarket parts. But uh, I would say the first first modification, easiest and fairly cheap, is the airbox delete. Um, I think that cost me a total of. 70 bucks 80 bucks and it was quite amazing because the uh thank you i got wet <laughs> the um when you take the air box off it's, it's like getting a, a christmas birthday present all in one because trident's um suspension system in there or the actuating uh area is all polished aluminum yeah, it looks great. I don't know why they were hiding it. It was just, yeah. The only thing I can think of, Chris, why they were hiding it is uh, they wanted to look like a hardtail and hide that spring. But that's the only, the only reason why I think. Yeah. Um, which to each their own. I like the I like the look of it actually being. Uh, Open right there. So you'll notice a lot of riders uh, in Florida, especially this area, um, only know Harley. That's it. They, 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 they. If you go with a Honda or something like that, uh, most likely it's going to be a sport bike. But your cruisers primarily are uh, Harleys here. Yeah, they are the um, Harley Davidson. We have Space Coast Harley right here. Right there in Palm Bay, it's right next to Bass Pro. And they do an awesome job. The whole resale with their bikes and stuff like that. It's all awesome. Don't get me wrong there, but sometimes you want to look at something different than a Harley. Yeah. It, it's funny. I don't know. I've never been a big Harley fan or anything like that. But all bikes are cool. But all bikes are cool. As long as you got two wheels on the ground, yep. or three wheels, this guy here, uh, it's all right in my book. That's what it's all about, just get out on two wheels. All right? Yeah, I was talking to the guys yesterday. The redfish down in this area here along the flats, right right off the, 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 the river here. The redfish were like there were hundreds of them. But the wind was coming in such a bad direction, you couldn't get your boats over there. Oh no. So what For we real? can do is we should go out there and just walk out there, put some old sneakers on, 
Have at it. Yeah, the redfish over here are delicious. Redfish is good. So yeah, that was another thing we were uh, thinking about is uh, taking some rides and actually showing you some uh, local eateries and everything. Stuff you can't find other places. Everybody's been to Chili's and all that stuff. You know, uh, what is that? Joe's Crab Shack. Everybody's been there. Uh, but a local chain over here uh, called Squid Lips. It's got that uh, fun, kitschy stuff on the walls and the ceiling and all that stuff. Uh, good food. It's a nice I, ride. It's up there to uh, the port. Yeah, I, I think it'd be a fun, fun little uh, trip. Give you like a little uh, food food review. I, food review with dropping gear and Wapamoto. We got a little bit of that Edwin. Oh yeah. Hey, we apologize, guys, if this is a little bit windy. Because we're going to head on into our crosswind here. We missed this last time, Chris. Yeah, we, we did. Yeah, we did. We looked so professional. Yeah, we were going along. We were just, it looks like we knew exactly where we were going yeah. this time. Yeah, we were talking away and uh, we just... <laughs> See, Jason had me in the lead. <laughs> yeah, uh, the next road, which is Grant Road, it is a dead straight line. At least this road's a little bit twisty turny. Yeah, this one's got a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Beautiful roads out here. Um, relatively speaking, I came from uh, San Antonio, Texas. The roads are terrible, not smooth, pothole. You really got to be uh, on your toes while riding riding out there. Um, over here, it's a little bit more relaxed. Uh, seems like they take care of the roads very, very, very well. Still with me, Waffle? I am just back here enjoying the ride this morning. <laughs> Uh, it's the bumpy part of this road. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. The, um, yeah, it's the nice thing about, you know, because our weather is constant. You know, it doesn't get too cold. And even during the winter, when Jason and I, when we rode this past winter, it was beautiful out. It was like 32 degrees. But it was beautiful. It was cold. You know, you warm your, hand, your hands up on the, uh, you want to hit that like a little piece of wood in the road the um but it's nice and right now you know we're wearing mesh jackets and stuff so it's fun yeah by the way we'll be doing uh product reviews as well uh, uh, like uh waffle was saying these uh mesh jackets i don't know how you get by during the uh the summer months here in florida with it being humid and everything without something similar uh, the one that, that we picked up is actually uh, uh, an icon. And it's full mesh, but it's got all your uh, all your armor as well. So take a look at it. I think it came out this year. so nice and quiet so this is like this is what this is real florida right here this is what it looks like it's not yeah. the, not the disney area or anything like that it's just country yeah there's so much cattle land here in florida we go, where we go hunting it's like it's amazing and we'll be showing you some of that that you know some of the areas around uh central florida Full throttle. <laughs> I, I think mine be, mine, I'm, I'm 
sitting there like 2,000 RPM, 75, 2,400 RPM. <laughs> the, um, but yeah, the, uh, yeah, Central, I mean, Florida's really nice, real quiet. As soon as you get outside the city limits of every town, every city, it's just country life. It truly is. Yeah. And Jason and I, we'll, we'll, we'll take a ride up over there. We'll take a ride out to like Central Florida. We'll take a ride up to like um, Fort Canaveral. Make sure you edit that out. I mentioned your name. Right. Uh -huh. I'm not worried about it. Okay. You didn't use my last name. <laughs> But the, um, yeah, we'll take a ride up to Lake Coco, show them the, uh, the road squid lips is at and stuff like that. And yeah, there's a lot of neat things to, to see over here. Yeah, uh, yeah like uh, Chris mentions, you have Cape Canaveral, uh, which uh, you got uh, all the cruise ships. Uh, not right now, but used to be a, uh, probably the most busy port. Uh, in Florida, right? Apart from Miami, maybe? Oh, yeah. For the cruise industry, it's probably one of the busiest. Yeah. And then, like you said, you have Disney. All uh, the Disney You got cruise Universal ships. Studios. Uh, See, uh, you I, got I think it's Turtle... fun to ride through Disney. I think so. All their uh, switchbacks and everything like that. Yeah, all the twists and turns. I, I think uh, it would just be fun. Things over there, they, they, they don't like going in a straight line. Um, no. The, the, the guys who designed those roads were probably uh, from Disney and wanted to actually make the, the roads a little bit interesting. So they, they, they legit have nice turns. They got overpasses over canals. It's actually, it's, it's really nice. Nicely manicured. It, it's visually nice to your eye. So it's like yeah. Yeah, the roads over here are like so straight you can land a plane. And people do. So are we going to be uh, taking that left, Chris? Yes. All right. Yeah, I'll let Chris take the lead on this one. I have no idea where we're going, but yeah. we can get some uh, footage. Uh, we take our right on uh, Cognon, uh, Kogan, 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 Kogan. Yeah. I have no idea where the road in front of us goes. Yeah, uh, that 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 meets up with uh, I think San Felipe. Uh, yeah, this whole intersection is new. You just you should just be a uh, turn at your risk. So the love bugs right now are not too bad. I, I've only got pelted a couple times. So yeah, if you go straight here, it takes you down to Fellsmere and Sebastian. And that is all farmland. That is a nice ride too. It's all tree, uh, tree farms. down there. Um, chicken farms, watermelon farms, collard farms, really nice area. So we were commenting how nice the roads are over here. And then here we are. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> but, uh, this is as close to like a Himalayan road I can get, except for that right there. So this is not a, uh, this is a bad road. No, nah, this, this is a decent road. For, it, for it, I mean, for Florida, this is not a good road. Yeah, no. But it's slated, uh, it once is, this area gets more populated, there's a lot of uh, uh, housing developments coming up over here. Uh, 
uh, it'll be on yeah, the books to, to get uh, yeah, it, repaved. It'll be repaved and rewidened. Yeah. Yeah, you see this is going to turn into a four, you think? This will turn into like another Viera. This will turn into a four lane road. Still like this. You know that? I think we lost Kong. And yeah, it's probably mine. I think Honestly. I lost Jason. See what's wrong with this thing. What's what's up with the Jason here? I don't know, Chris. It just dropped. I gotta find neutral here. Does this thing even turn it on? Move your hand. You see any lights? No. Do it again. It does have light. No. Push the button again. Is there lights on it though? Nothing. Oh shoot, it's not a ride unless you have some sort of uh, technical difficulties. So I think I'm going to sign out. Hold on here. <laughs> here with, uh... Hold on. No, it's, it, it's dead. I've been trying to do that since way back there. It's... I don't know what's wrong. I pulled it off the charger this morning. I need to get with... You've always had an issue with that thing. Cena support. So I am uh, going to sign off. Uh, I am uh, drunk here. This is Waffle Moto. Until next time. Peace. Peace out. <laughs> Hold on.